So I'm gonna go out on a limb here and kind of have a controversial conversation with you. I don't think everybody should have a gun like this, at least not for self-defense. And I don't mean a staccato or the staccato C, I mean a firearm with a manual safety. So on certain firearms, like your 1911s, 2011s, like this staccato right here, anything single action, your CZ, Shadow, Shadow 2, right? Um, I think a manual safety has a purpose. Anything you're likely to carry cocked and locked because of that single action trigger, sure, fine. But for your modern striker fired firearms, I don't think it's necessary. And I think it's a bad choice for the average consumer. And the reason I say this is because a lot of people don't train at all, hardly ever. And they're not working those manual safeties so that they have that muscle memory to kind of click after they draw it or bring it up, click, 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 right? I've been on the range in classes and I had a guy next to me using a like 1911 style, comes up out of his holster and he goes, because he forgot to take his safety off. And in a life or death situation, those are seconds you can't waste. You have to be ready up, pow, pow, right there, right? And with your striker fired safeties, I found they're incredibly stiff to the point where they're kind of useless. You can't just, and they're small too. It's not like these staccato safeties or these 1911 style safeties, right? Where they're big and fat and you can easily find it and easily manipulate it. They're real thin, real tiny, and they're hard to manipulate with your thumb. And I've been sitting around, I've transitioned to this staccato CS recently, and I've been sitting around the house just doing this. Come out of the holster, up. Just sitting on my couch, dry firing, safety on, safety off, safety on, safety off, safety on, safety off. And I don't think your average consumer is going to put in that much effort with a new firearm. And during COVID, I helped out at my local gun shop, and there's a lot of people that came in, they wanted that thumb safety for the feel good reasons, right? It's an extra step, my kids. But really, if you're not gonna train it, it can cause more harm than anything because you really need to get used to coming up, turning that off and banging away, right? And if you're not gonna get used to it, what you're gonna find is you're gonna come up and you're gonna be like, oh no, uh, right? And, see, and I, I turned it off just by habit. Or you're gonna come up and oh no, because you're gonna forget. And another thing, if you're gonna carry a firearm like this, you have to have a proper grip and presentation because if your thumb is under that safety, see if I can do it here. What'll happen is under recoil, that's gonna come up and stop the gun from working. Let's see if I can do it. Oh, this feels weird. Ah, ah, okay, hold on. Jesus, I can't even hold it right. See, right there, thumb comes up, hits the safety, gun's useless. So if you're gonna have a firearm with a manual safety on it, practice. If you're getting a striker fired firearm, get training. You don't need the safety, but if you're gonna have a safety, train with it, practice it. It is absolutely a must if you're gonna have a safety. But stay safe, man, get what you like, do what you do. I'm just some guy on the internet.